Hey guys, in this series of video lectures, we are going to discuss the solutions of the math paper of J E Main 2017. So let's start with the solution of first question of set D mathematics. The question is, if S is the set of distinct values of B for which the following system of linear equations, the given equations are here, has no solution, then now. We can always represent this particular system of linear equation in matrix form and this will become well the coefficients of x, y and z will come in this matrix so it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, a, 1 and a, b, 1. This matrix when multiplied with the matrix of x, y, z gives us the result as 1, 1, 0. Now let's solve this. Here, according to this particular question, this given system of linear equations has no solutions and for this system has no, having no solution, we will have to say that the D or the discriminant of this particular matrix is 0. So if we expand this matrix for its discriminant, then we are going to get 1 into A minus B minus 1 into 1 minus A plus 1 into a square or b minus a square and this particular value is equal to 0. Now if we expand this particular or simplify this particular solution then this will give us a minus b minus 1 plus a plus b minus a square is equal to 0. Now this b and b will cancel each other we will have a square minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0 upon rearranging this will give us a minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 and hence the value of a will be equal to 1. Now if we substitute the value of a as 1 in this particular matrix then the given system will then become 1 1 1 1 1 1 because the value of a is 1 then 1 b 1 into x y z or let's not just write it let's not let's now simply see that for what value of b this particular determinant will be 0 or the determinant of this particular matrix will be 0 so here you can see that we have column 1 and column 3 as identical to each other and so since c1 and c3 are identical the determinant of this particular matrix will always be 0 and since the determinant of this matrix will always be 0 we can say that for any value of b because now the value of b will not matter as c1 and c3 are exactly identical so this b can have any values so for any value of b the discriminant will be equal to 0 and so b can take infinite values And since we can take infinite values, hence S, the set which is given to us, is an infinite set. So the correct answer is infinite set.